Gentlemen, happy Valentine's Day to you and welcome back to MGTOW Money. Today's topic, celebrating 23 Valentines is a MGTOW. Before we get to that, let me sincerely thank the ongoing support from the Patreon investors in this channel as well as some of the kind comments I've received over the past several videos. Guys, I do sincerely appreciate it. It's because of that type of feedback from you that this channel continues, frankly. All right, let's get on to today's topic, celebrating 23. Three Valentines is a MGTOW. Now, let me define MGTOW how I define it. I'm talking about a single or divorced man who has not been living with a woman by choice. Yes, gentlemen, that applies to yours truly. And I'm going to crank back up my way back machine and go back to February 14th, 1995. Yes, we're going way back in time. Some of you may not have even been born yet. God help me. But anyway, here I was, separated, uh, divorce pending. Divorce hadn't gone through because the state I was residing in, you had to wait at least 12 months before it would be finalized. But anyway, sad, distraught, uh, self-destructive, etc. It was a very, very, very unhappy time for me as I'm overcoming the failure, the embarrassment of divorce and the societal pressure of of becoming a couple again and getting married again, or at least, hey, you need to get a girlfriend, etc. You know, needless to say, it was a very difficult time and haunted me for, frankly, many years, that societal pressure, and that was my first Valentine that I experienced like that. And needless to say, it was not a happy time. And I know this is going to be especially true for many of you men out there who are under 35 years old. And this video, frankly, is dedicated to you. And I hope that you can take something from it because you will get through this. And let's get on to some ideas about getting through this in a positive sense. Let's focus on what I term as the three F's. The three F's. Specifically, we are going to reframe this situation because you have, sir, your freedom. Remember, just because you're alone does not mean you need to be lonely. Loneliness is simply a feeling. It comes, it goes. You're happy, you're sad, you're joyful, you're distraught. It just It's like waves in the ocean. Being alone is simply a state of being. You can be alone and be very, very happy. You can be joyful. You can be content. You can feel great. That's what I want you to take out of this, if nothing else. You're okay being alone. And most importantly, because you're alone, you have your freedom. You have the ability to change your life. You want to start a business? Do it now. You want to move to a new city? Go ahead. You want to you want to go to the gym for the next couple hours? You don't need anyone's permission. You don't need to have any discussions, negotiations, arguments. Here, l- let me give you a couple of quick examples again from my own past. When I was married, for example, I wanted to move to another state. I thought there was going to be much greater economic opportunities in another state than where I was living at that particular time. I still believe that's the case. However, my wife was dead set against it. And guess what? We didn't move. Another time, I spent thousands of dollars taking a girl on a trip. It was an international trip, several days, etc. Needless to say, of course, surprise, surprise, had a blowout argument and it ruined the trip and I still have bad memories to this day. My point being, all those things could have been avoided if I had been alone. I wouldn't have had to ask permission. I wouldn't have had to negotiate. I wouldn't have had to go back and forth and discuss things, etc. I want you to feel like being alone is actually a very, very positive thing because next the next F is that by being alone you have a superpower you have the ability to focus you don't have any distractions in your life relating to people unless you choose keyword you choose to to bring them into your life. Now, let's work through a quick exercise. I want you to think of three things off the top of your head immediately that come to mind. Three things come off the top of your head immediately that make you really, really happy. Just three. 
three right off the bat. For me, very quickly that I just thought of were I like to play chess, I like to read books, and I like to go I like to exercise. That was three things. That were three things that immediately came to mind that I really, really enjoy. The reason why you want to identify these three happiness islands, if you will, these three things that give you tremendous amount of pleasure is because just those three few activities probably generate most of your happiness. In other words, 20% of your time, whether it be daily, weekly, monthly, yearly, whatever it might be, is generating 80% of your happiness throughout that same time frame. By determining that 20% allows you, again, to focus. Because specifically what we're going to do is we're going to expand Span the amount of time that you spend on those few activities to lead you to the best life that you can possibly have. And specifically, we're going to get to our next F, and that is F U money. Yes, I said F U money, because that is what you need to walk away from whatever you're doing now. Presumably, you're not living the life that you want to, but you want to get to the life that you deserve. So, hopefully, you're going to need. F you money to do it. I'm not going to belabor, as I've done too many times, the importance of determining your magic number, establishing additional streams of income, cutting expenses, etc. I encourage the new subscribers in particular, or if you're an old subscriber and you haven't already, listen to the first six, eight videos that I did on this channel. I think it'll give you a good foundation to get you going because you can make next year's Valentine's Day far better than this one and then the next one after that even better. And you can snowball this into the future. I can promise you that because I've seen it happen in my own life. But again, it all starts with recognizing, A, you are so lucky to be alone. You have your freedom to do whatever you want, with whom you want, where you want, when you want, to a certain degree, right now, today, to move forward without negotiation, without distraction. You, sir, can start focusing on that 20%, those few activities, whatever they might be, playing guitar, building birdhouses, whatever it is. There's only a few things that generate most of your happiness. You only have a finite amount of time, especially if you're working a job. You can expand, I emphasize, you can expand the amount of time that you spend on the things that you really enjoy by leading to that third F, which of course is getting that F you money. To finish up, you've got your freedom, you've got your focus, and then you get your F you money, and you can get the rich life you deserve. Gentlemen, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. I hope you enjoyed that. Hit the like button. As always, John Galt, out.